Alexander Ludwig wants an R-rated super freaky girl movie with Nicki Minaj. What it was supposed to be was Barbie and Ken turn Mr. and Mrs. Smith and try to kill each other. We got versions of it, but not, not quite. Um, it was a blast though. Hi, I'm Alexander Ludwig and Esquire has asked me to explain a few things and I am very nervous. I haven't read this. Let's do it. <laughs> what would be your strategy for surviving the Hunger Games? <sighs> I mean, hopefully not getting picked, I, but if you get picked, I would have stuck with Rue till the end. She seemed like the smartest and the best of us. And when she left, it all went downhill from there. She just stuck to the trees. Kato should have stuck to the trees. Alexander Ludwig wants an R-rated super freaky girl movie with Nicki Minaj. How did you come to star in a Nicki Minaj video? See, I, I knew that this was gonna come up. I just knew it. When I was in college, I roomed with this guy named Zubin. And I, and I remember he was so passionate about film. And I said, dude, like, you want to be in movies. That's what you want to do, like do it. He's since gone on to produce the biggest movie, music videos uh, in, in the world. Uh, one of which were from Nicki Minaj. So he gave me a call and he was like, dude, like, can you just come do this? And what it was supposed to be was Barbie and Ken turn Mr. and Mrs. Smith and try to kill each other. So we got versions of it, but not, not quite. Um, it was a blast though. And I don't regret it for a second. Favorite tattoo. Huh. Well, this is my favorite tattoo, Bambi. Uh, that's what I call my wife, uh, Lauren, because her last name was Deer. Um, favorite tattoo that I've worn for a role, the one I had on my eye for Vikings right here. Uh, we put that in season four or five. I thought that was really, really cool. <laughs> uh, that's just me being silly, me being silly. And that is not my dick. I was taking Polaroids of Lauren like every week she was pregnant so we could just have something to remember. And then the egotistical part of me wanted my photo taken, I guess. I just took off all my clothes and I was like, here, take a picture of me just so we can remember it. And she was like, you're such an idiot. Uh, so yeah, that's it. And also I'm pregnant. <laughs> the internet is re-imaging you as Aquaman. Thoughts? You're almost there with a lot of these projects. It's just kind of waiting for the right opportunity that fits you, you know? And I think that I was very right, clearly to play, you know, a Barbie in, in Nicki Minaj's video, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that was crazy. Can you explain this viral TikTok moment? My little sister, Sophia, uh, she sent me this and was like, do you have any idea how many views this has gotten? Like you've gone viral. And I was like, what? While I was in Nashville, I was writing and this lovely woman named Lauren, she's like, you look a lot like this guy uh, from Vikings. I was like, no way, really? And then of course I ended up telling her that, uh, that that was me. And I honestly only think this went viral because she is such a lovable human being. So Lauren, if you're watching this, um, I love you. And I hope to see you again. Thanks for loving the show. What country star, living or dead, would be your dream collaboration and why? Dolly Parton. Just because Dolly Parton. Like she's an incredible human being. She is a, an amazing performer. The legacy she's left behind is unmatched. Um, and she really paved a path for those who came after her. I mean, Jolene, I would love to sing Jolene with Dolly Parton. I think that'd be incredible. What's your go-to karaoke music song? I got friends in places where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away. Damn it, I'm blushing now. What do you remember about working with Dwayne The Rock Johnson as a teenager on Race to Witch Mount? So much. Dwayne was one of the first movie stars I ever worked with. And he gave me his favorite guitar because we used to play guitar together. Uh, when I turned 16 on that shoot. I know I looked 12, but I was actually 15. I'll never forget working with him. He really made his mark on me. Any particular wrestlers you took inspo from to create your character in heels? I'm supposed to plead the fifth on this one for uh, legal reasons, but I think I can say I have a very close friend named Adam Copeland. Um, so I called him for a lot of advice. Uh, he was Edge in uh, WWE, 
you're out there for the world to see, uh, you wanna do right by those people. Putting on my character's costume for the first time felt like, it was very exposing. Part of me wishes that I, you know, maybe should have packed a couple more socks in my bag. <laughs> How did you train to get this shredded? I didn't think I was that shredded on, on heels. For me, it was about getting your body to look like what wrestlers would look like and to a place where it could withstand the pressure it was gonna be put under um, doing these kind of intense sequences. I will say that we always hear it uh, and we never listen to it, but it really is what you eat. It's all about what you eat. I literally tested myself. I did a week of, of not working out and I just ate well and I think I looked better. What's your favorite wrestler move? Explain. Ace, my character in heels, is supposed to be this like local hero and one of the most talented wrestlers out there. I didn't have a lot of tricks in my pocket, but like the one thing that I did have was that I used to be a, a competitive freestyle skier, so I feel very comfortable in the air. Um, so high flying is something I feel very comfortable doing. That's my favorite move is, is running up the top turnbuckle, flipping over my opponent, and then grabbing him around the waist and slamming him to the floor. Yeah. We're just a bunch of kids. Uh, Esquire, I think I have explained everything. Uh, thank you for having me. Thank you for being uh, relatively gentle. Uh, and to the audience, I hope you enjoy Heels, uh, and thanks for being a fan.